I hit Gosport's charity shops and bought a load of CDs. <laughs> Hoi hoi everybody and welcome to another haul video. So today is the 3rd of February. Um, I had to go into town, Gosport, for a couple of reasons. So I had time, so I thought, sod it. I've not done hit the charity shops for a few months. Let's see what I can get. Uh, complete washout on DVDs and Blu-rays. Although, should there be anybody interested um, in scope, they did have some... 4Ks sealed for 25p each. There's the Martian and two others, and I can't remember what they were. I very nearly picked them up, but I haven't got a 4K player, and I couldn't be bothered to sort of then get around to sending them out to people, to be honest, so I didn't. But if you're in the area and you want cheap 4K discs, as I say, Scope in Gosport I've got 4Ks sealed 25p each. Anyway, other than that, DVDs and Blu rays are a washout everywhere, vinyl was a washout everywhere. But I did pick up uh, 13, I think it is, CDs in three different shops. So Scope was the first one I went in, and all of these are 25p each. Um, I've just remembered they seal all theirs, so you'll have to bear with me as I unseal them. Okay, that's them all unsealed. So yes, all of these were 25p each. Um, and apart from probably one, they're not your usual charity shop fodder. So I was really pleased to pick these up. Um, Craftwork, Trans Europe Express. So this is the first Craftwork I own, but they are a band I was intending to explore. So as soon as I saw this, I thought I'm having that. Disc looks good. Uh, I think this is the only Mark Ronson album I didn't already have. This is Here Comes a Fuzz, which I think is his first album. Um, I've got a feeling that I'll probably recognise a couple of tracks when I hear them. But it was certainly the sort of version onwards that I'm more familiar with with Mark. Uh, so we've got Ghostface Killer, Nate Dog and Trife on one track, Sean Paul on another, Moz Def on another, Nika Costa on another, uh, Daniel Merriweather, Q-Tip. So yeah, as I say, I'm, I'm half expecting to recognise a track or two. Uh, this is the first thing I've ever owned by this band, bar a couple of tracks on compilations. Pablo Honey, Radiohead. Um, obviously Creeps on here. Anyone can play guitar. Again, I might recognise some of the other tracks. A band who I've you know always intended exploring. I certainly like quite a few of their tracks. So, 25p. Bargain. Uh, this is for one that you do tend to see in charity shops quite often, is Moby's Play. I had to double check I didn't already have it, but I didn't. So, if it was sort of the only thing there that I was interested in, then I wouldn't have picked it up. But since I was getting it other bits, and it helped round it out to a nice round £1.50. I nabbed it. I have I have a compilation of his film soundtrack work and I have his James Bond theme on CD single. And I have seen him live. Uh, and then two by the same band. Again, another band who I don't own any of. Um, but I thought 25p 
They're a band I've sort of been interested in. Um, and that's Flaming Lips. So this is uh, Cloud, Clouds Taste Metallic. These look like very early albums. So I don't know how representative they will be of their work. But yeah, it's a risk that's worth taking at that price. And the Soft Bulletin Music and Songs by the Flaming Lips. So yeah, happy to have picked those up. Uh, then I went around to Cancer Research and I think we're... I don't think there was another one in between. I think that was that was next. Um, but I picked. They were five for a pound in there. There was three I was definitely interested in, and the other two I picked up. The, the last two on this pile, so I'll explain my thinking on that. Um, this one I picked up. Uh, it's not actually for me. So this is Gabrielle's Rise. And the reason I've picked this up is because it's um, someone who's special to me. Let me put it that way. It's their birthday. Next week. And I'm putting together just a little present for them. And uh, this out, well, the, the title track to this album, Rise, was number one on the day they were born. So I'll stick it in. I don't think they've got a way of even playing this at home, but I think most, you know, it's nice to own the song that was number one on the day you were born. So see who doesn't. But that's because mine was If by Telly Savalas. Um, but I must get a copy of it, really. So yeah, that's why I picked that one up. Uh, this is Tracy Chapman's album, her debut album, self-titled. Uh, a classic. Talking about revolution, fast car, baby can I hold you, all on here. Somebody has, did write their name on there, but they've scribbled it out by the looks of it. Lyric booklet. I did check that all the right discs were in these having been bitten too many times in the past obviously I couldn't with the scope ones because they were sealed but I've never had a problem with scope uh, and come on feel the lemon heads I quite liked the lemon heads when they were I was going to say big but big was probably the wrong word but when they were trendy and this was the big big album it's got my big gay heart on it. Um, Shame about Ray was the other big album as well, wasn't it? But, uh, this is sort of the one that launched them, and then Shame about Ray was the the big seller, I believe, if memory serves correctly. Um, damage to the case, but that's not an issue. But yeah, come on, feel the lemon heads. So then, yeah, I had to find another two to make it up to the pound. I mean, I would have just paid a pound for the three quite happily, but. There was another couple that I didn't mind picking up. Um, now that's what I call Music 32. Always happy to pick up a Now album. Just, you know, there's always some stuff on there. Worth having. Uh, what have we got on here? You know, Queen, Meatloaf. Tina Turner, GoldenEye. Uh, Beautiful South, Louise, Radiohead. Pulp. Uh, blur cast, so it's it's my sort of era anyway. Oasis, McGammon and Butler, one of the greatest songs ever written. Yes, Paul Weller, Suggs, Smoking Mojo Filters, Coolio, Shaggy. Yeah, it's definitely my era. Weakfield. <laughs> Luck luckily, not Saturday Night because I have a history with that song. Um, Eternal. 
Human League. Yeah, I mean, disc one is certainly more me than disc two, but uh, 20p. And then the Pretty Woman soundtrack, um, which has got some good exclusive tracks on it. By acts I like. Uh, so Fame 90 by David Bowie. Not necessarily a good bonus, uh, exclusive track, but it's all right. Uh, King of Wishful Thinking, Go West. Uh, Show Me Your Soul, Red Hot Chili Peppers, various others as well. Jane Wheedlin, Roxette, Peter Satira, Roy Orbison. But yeah, a couple of decent tracks on there anyway. Uh, so then, yeah, the next four or five, I went in nothing whatsoever. But then in cancer... No, this was cancer research, wasn't it? So that must have been... Where's my receipts? I lied. So the five of a pound was in... Oh, no, that's... Because I didn't have a receipt for them. Okay. I remember now. It's all right. Uh, five for a pound was... Might be Sally Army. I think it's Salvation Army. Anyway. Yeah. Um, cancer research I went in, and there was a couple... There was some, they're quite expensive, they're a pound each for discs there, which obviously compared to those is a lot of money. So, and I've been bitten a couple of times there where I've had wrong discs, or last time I was there was when I had a Mystique um, pirate disc. You know, it was home burnt and photocopies and etc. Um, so I'm careful there now, but these two I wanted for my silly collections. Um... So this is the James Bond themes. No mention anywhere that I could see of who they're performed by. Let's see if it's inside. I'll look inside. Uh... No, no mention of who they're performed by. Certainly not. The original artists. Um, I'm guessing they're going to be either instrumentals or session musician singers. Um, but yeah, it's sort of split between the action themes and the love themes. So we've got the Bond theme, Tomorrow Never Dies, Thunderball, Goldfinger, Honor Majesties, Live and Let Die, Man with Golden Gun, View to a Kill and Golden Eye under the action themes. It's not sure I'd agree with Golden Eye as an action theme and Probably Tomorrow Never Dies, I'd disagree as well. And the love themes, Nobody Does It Better, For Your Eyes Only, Moonraker, All Time High, From Russia With Love, uh, The Look Of Love from Casino Royale, 67, Diamonds Are Forever, License To Kill, and a bonus track with a new version of a James Bond theme. So yeah, but if License To Kill is a love theme, then surely Gold Knight is as well. They're very similar. But yeah, for my Bond theme collection... And for my crappy Beatles covers collection, uh, Grayson and One Four unplug the Beatles. So who Grayson and One Four are, I've no idea. Uh, this is our second recording for Delta Music. We have approached these Beatles classics in exactly the same way as we did the Simon and Garfunkel songs on our first album, reworking the material in our own style rather than copying the original artists. The innovation of the Beatles has inspired us as songwriter for many years. Ringo, George, Paul and John, thank you. Interesting order. Uh, as ever, a huge debt of gratitude is owed to Lyndon J. Connor for his talent and dedication. Special thanks go to some names. Gary and Alex. So I presume it's Gary Grayson and Alex One Four. We say unplugged. I've got a piano keyboard there, so whether they're acoustic piano pieces, I don't know. Um, that's a picture of Abbey Road. Oh, with lead and backing vocals, so they are singing. Okay. Alex Grayson, wrong way round then. 
lead and backing vocals and rhythm guitar. Gary won for lead and backing vocals and lead guitar. And then Linton J. Connor, lead and backing vocals, keyboards. Yeah, it's probably going to be terrible, but there you go. So that was it, yeah. A um, couple more went in after that, and again, they were, they were washouts. Uh, one of it, um, which is a new one, uh, it's a young person's mental health charity, which I would like to have supported, but they didn't have any physical media whatsoever in there. Um, I did also pop in CEX, um, which I don't normally do, but um, somebody suggested them to, if I could, to have a look for some of the Clone Wars discs. Um, but no, they didn't have many Blu-rays at all. Um, loads of games in there, but only three shell thing units of Blu-rays, half of which were 4Ks of one of them. Um, so two and a half really of Blu-rays. So yeah, not a great visit and doesn't inspire me to go back there again anytime soon, but I'll pop in occasionally. Uh, but yeah, that was that. Um, so from there I went down to a slice of vinyl and bought some records and that'll be another video. But thank you for watching this one. Like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you on another video. Thanks. Bye. <music>